another ride along on a Saturday. So we've done pretty well on Saturdays. And so far this day started, I just got out of my son's basketball game a little while ago, so I didn't do anything in the morning or the, or the lunch. So I decided to head up to my new favorite market, my new favorite area. And on my way in, I got a $22 Subway order. Um, so we'll see what happens here with this. I don't know, at $22 for Subway seems like where it's going or what the story is with all of this. Uh, normally, sometimes you, when you get overinflated Uber orders, it's because it's getting passed around and passed around, and there's a problem with the order that's not been dealt with. But for 22 bucks, unless it's really, really severe, I'll probably deal with it, and you know it'll be it'll be Uber's win having picked me out as a driver. But anyways, guys, go as always, hundred dollars. It's a UFC fight night tonight, so I'm hopeful that's going to be driving some sales, driving some deliveries. My hope is to make at least $100, and then once I hit my 100 I will evaluate whether or not I stay out, go home, whatever. I know my wife wants me to come home for a little while because she's been working all week and uh, spend some time at the home front, but if I make my 100 I'll do that, I told her. So, we'll see how fast, and depending how early I make my 100 if it comes early and doesn't require me to be out late, late, late to do it, then I will... Um, you know, I will uh, consider maybe staying out a little bit longer and pushing past the hundred dollar mark tomorrow. Got a, an evening ball game, so all my work's going to be done in the morning and lunch. So it's going to be kind of flipped and reversed, but it's a Sunday, so that should be good. Football's on. Hopefully, that means people want want food delivered, and uh, hopefully, they're tipping too. All right, guys, hit that like, share, subscribe button, pound the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying the videos. Everybody knew that subscribe. I really appreciate it. Listen, if you subscribe, put subscribe in the notes, in the comments, and I will mention you in the next video. I'm going to make a list. I haven't seen anyone do it, and if you have done it, make sure you do it again in this video so I see it. I just must have missed it, but I don't believe I've seen anybody do it yet, but I will definitely uh, mention you in the next video that I make um, as a thank you for subscribing and supporting the channel. Really, really do appreciate that trying to grow this network, grow this thing. So everybody that's been interacting with me, uh, commenting and talking, and don't you see the comments on the page, on the videos, really appreciate it, keep it coming. I like the flow. I've learned some information from some of you. Hopefully you've learned some from me. Together we will get better. All right, guys, I'm gonna jump on this, go get this, go get this, uh, pick up this food, check on and see what's going on with the order. I'll be back with an update in a little while, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll be talking to you soon. All right, guys, I'm back. Just made the delivery, and woo, I am very, very happy because this is a new market for Uber, obviously, and I can tell that one way because they paid me $18.23 to pick up a sub and chocolate chip cookies and go one mile. Absolutely insane payout. But it's exactly what I've seen from Uber. When I first started with Uber back in um, the original market, I started in the Hagerstown, Maryland market. They were new up there, paying insane payout, baited me in, baited every other driver in, and then once they took over the market, bottomed it out overnight, and that's what Uber does. So beware, look, if you can find a market, and I have a couple markets up here, luckily, that our Uber is still trying to gain footing in, but if you once you once they get their foothold into a market, they're going to drop everything down to two dollars and fifty cents. But that is Uber's business model. If you've done any research or you know anything about Uber, they are come in. Their goal is to come in, overpay, even take a loss for a while, and then once they own the market, once they get their market share, then they will come in. Once they've monopolized the market, so to speak, they once they get all the drivers in and working for them. And of course, the model requires that you that you work only for them. What happened with me with that other market is I just basically stopped taking Uber orders and had other offers that were better, and the other offers started competing, and then Uber got really testy and upset. And I guess that's what Uber's doing in other markets. It hasn't come here yet to where they're doing the, the three, the five strikes, and you're out, and all the different things that you're hearing where they're taking away information. I mean, it is what it is. I can read a map. I'll figure it out. And if the money makes sense, I'll do it. But if not, then Uber is not going to get my attention. I got too many other options and opportunities to worry about Uber if they're not willing to pay me my due. So, anyways, kudos to Uber. Hats off to Uber. This this makes perfect sense. It's a four dollar tip. 
that I'm waiting on. I think I'll probably get it. It was to a college dormitory. So that was a little awkward trying to navigate through all that, but for $22 and what ultimately being the bet was $18 base pay for basically 20 minutes of work. Insane order. I'll take that, no problem. I'm very happy to do that order. So this puts us 22% of the way to our 100. I am now back on the road again to head into the market that I'm targeted for, which is the Charlestown, West Virginia market. I will be able to go live with them at 515 unless I get hired for other jobs first. So I'm gonna go back on the hunt, look for some Instacart, look for some Shipped, see if Uber has any interest in me or my services, maybe even Grubhub. And, uh, we're, and Point Pickup is also very active in the area. I'm still looking for the first opportunity to go live with them. Maybe today is the day, and I'll take you with me when we do. All right, guys, hit that subscribe button. Celebrate this big win for Dad Dash Industries. And um, keep that in mind. If you find a fresh new Uber market, go attack it, guys. You can make a lot of money and get there fast, get there first, make the money, because eventually they're going to take it away. All right, guys. I'm going to get back on the road here. I'll be back with an update soon. Hopefully, we get another order really quick within a relatively reasonable amount of time. And uh, I'll be back to tell you about it if I do. Talk to you in a minute. What's going on, guys? Back with an update here. Um, want to let you know what's going down so I made it into my market stopped off I uh, decided to get a snack use the restroom since it's been a little bit of a commute in uh, and that was a good thing I did that that always puts me I, I go to a particular convenience store that's like dead center of the market it puts me really great in range to get start getting hit with orders especially at dinner time and I went ahead and took a seven bag delivery for Instacart. Instacart has an excellent new deal that, that, that works through Martin's grocery stores where you just go pick up the bags for groceries. Ranges anywhere from five. I did one the other day for as much as $27. And uh, they can be even bigger than that. Um, now some of them can be quite large. It can be you know, a couple cart fulls, but the, the key thing is you don't have to shop, but you still get paid base pay plus tip. The base pay for these orders is $5. It's just a flat $5 fee. I think they do add a little bit extra if there's uh, excessive miles in the um, in the order. But in this case, it was $10 to go 5.8 miles. So I went ahead and took that. As I was heading over, there's an Applebee's right over there next to the Martins. And I got a $13.38 um, Grubhub order. So I went ahead and snatched that up for 2.5 miles. Now, as I anticipated... The grub up order was not ready, and that Applebee's takes forever. So, I got my groceries, stopped into the Applebee's, talked to the lady in there, and said, hey, you know, what's going on with the order? She said probably about another 10 to 15, maybe 20 minutes on the order, which normally would have been like, okay, even though this is $13 for two miles, we're going to find something else we got to do, or, you know, at least turn the apps back on to see if anybody will hire us for something that makes more sense at the given time, and then maybe come back. Well, in this case, we were already hired. So I'm going out right now to make the delivery on the groceries. That's $10, and then there will be $13.38, and it's not even $5.20 yet. So uh, we will have had almost $50 in the bank before we even get into the core of the dinner hour out here. Now, we got to be careful because this, this, uh, this market can take you on some rides. And right now, we're on a little bit of a ride right now, but I think we're going to be okay. So... Um, I will be back to update you, see how all of this shakes out and turns out. The big key to all of it is, is that when we get done with the final order of this stack that I've done, is that everybody gets their food on time, everybody gets their food warm and in good, good condition. The restaurants and the stores stay happy, and then we get another order to follow it up. Those are the four premises that we're operating on that I believe I can meet, and that's what you should too if you're going to do a multi-order stack. If you don't believe any of those are going to be able to be met, don't do it. Um, it is definitely not worth it. But those are the four premises you should operate on. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. I think I'm at my address or I'm coming close to it. Oh, it looks a little icy and snowy up here, but we're going to deal with it. So good time to jump off the camera. I'll be talking to you with an update soon. All right, guys, talk to you in a minute. All right, 
guys so uh, dad dash back here and with an update so basically where we stand right now I'm not um, we basically where we stand right now um, I finished the drop off there for the groceries it went fine it was quick I got back to the restaurant food was waiting for me just got that delivered I got another Grubhub offer right away which I turned down promptly that was for uh, it was like $12 for 12 miles. It was for the five guys that's up here. And I said, no way. We're not going 12 miles for 12 bucks. And it was taking you way out of the market. So we shot that down. I'm glad we did because we got a $7, 3.5 mile, or maybe it was four mile, uh, DoorDash order for a Chinese restaurant up here where they said the food, I've already gotten a notification that the food is ready. I'm hoping maybe there's a little extra tip in there. It was like a I think a four or five item order maybe there was a little bit more I don't know it looks like there's some potential but I'm not certain I have never been to this restaurant and the area of town that I'm going to to deliver it I'm eh, I'm not certain but we'll find out we will find out so I'm on my way to pick up that food and uh, this puts us at uh, before we needed I think it was about $52 to hit our hundred and it's not even six o'clock yet so great start to the night great great way to start it out great uh, padding for the evening so I'm hoping this maybe has a little bit of extra tip in it and maybe we get uh, once I make the pickup I'm gonna turn uber back on I'm gonna turn grub up back on I still got instacart running in the background ship running in the background I haven't seen anything yet that's inspired me to hit accept and give up the food apps yet but we will continue to look and uh, see what we can find all right, guys, I am here at the restaurant. I'm going to go in here and pick this up, and I will be right back. All right, guys, talk to you soon. going on guys dad dash industries here again back with an update so it's been wild since i talked to you last um we were dropping off the grubhub order for ten dollars got off that order got a 15 dollar offer uh, it was a place and pay order i normally don't like to do those but i went ahead and took it uh, against my better judgment and it was a mess they were out of items i called placed the order i had to call grubhub grubhub just said we're going to cancel the order so they went ahead and canceled the order and I had to call back the place and cancel it. Now, in that, while that was happening, I ended up getting a $14 Ruby Tuesday slash Blaze Pizza order, which turned into a $17.50 order. So that really turned out well. Um, so right now, I needed about $27.28, bucks, and I ended up pulling off getting a $20.50 uh, Long John Silver's order, which I normally stay away from Long John Silver's and other markets, but for $20, I'm willing to come check this out. So... Um, it looks like we've got uh, some action here. Wow, so we've got Charlestown has a $26.17 item order. Uh, there's some really good action on uh, Instacart here, it looks like. Um, some, uh, so, some pretty easy orders, it appears. I'm gonna check this one out. That would actually allow me to lock this down, pretty much, turn off all the apps. Mm. And this is $26, but where is it going? That's the question. Um, anyways, we'll come back to these and I'll see. I don't want to take them yet because they, they they tend to get upset if you don't get on top of shopping these right away. But there's some pretty decent looking orders um, right here in the Instacart app. But anyways, I am here at Long John Silver's. I'm going to be running in here, grabbing the uh, order, hopefully. Hopefully it goes smooth. And we'll get this delivered this was only like a four mile order so really like i said really really good order and then we it's about seven o'clock so we got plenty of time left to hit our hundred we're going to be about seven eight bucks away from a hundred 
So we'll see what happens. As you can see, I've got some Instacart options on here. If I want to do that and just get out of the food delivery, go, you know, do anything under 20 items, I'm down for. And we've got a $15 food line, which I prefer food line, but it's seven miles. I've got to look at the locations on both of these. And then we've got a $26 Martin 17 item, 25 units. Neither of these, both of those look decent. And then there's also an order that I may head back towards the house because I've got a 16 to 18 dollar shipped order for wise markets it's delivery only so i just basically pull up call the number person comes out and, and loads up the car i'm not sure what the items are they never tell you what the items are so it could be a lot it could be a little uh and then you just have to travel up it looks like about probably about seven or eight miles up the road from the store so i don't know we got got lots of options right now we're gonna um, take them all under advisement but for now i gotta run in here and grab this order and then i will be back to let you know what we decide how we go about it if we stay around and just try to do a little grab and go order before we go home or if i go ahead and take one of these shop options or de or grocery delivery options all right guys talk to you in a minute back here with an update so I figured while we still had a little bit of light as I'm going through the parking lot I'll update you so I believe I'm on my final order we've already hit a hundred uh, it was a little after eight o'clock so we worked a little more than four hours but we got uh, an 850 order that pushed us over so we didn't go with any of the crazy options we didn't go do any shopping uh, nothing like that what we did was we kept it we kept it straight in our wheelhouse we went natural and that is with food delivery so i got a seven dollar taco bell order um and um that's where we that's where we left it so um and the shipped order and all that stuff i've kind of left on the cutter room floor i don't think we're going to do anything with that you never know they're still offering me um they're still offering me the the order but this order i just picked up from a place called we want wings it's a virtual restaurant i believe there'll be a little bit of extra tip probably in here it'll probably be something like you know 850 or something like that maybe it'll stay at seven but that'll put us at about 108 dollars for today that'll cover the few over the, the overage there that we had as far as minute wise and should close out a nice day with the gross revenue per hour of $25 per hour. So we generated exactly where we want it to be. And I believe I'm going to go ahead and call the evening at this point because I've been on the phone with my wife a couple times. And uh, I think it's time to call it. So with that said, guys, next time I come back, I'll come back to update you. Probably will be to wrap it up. If not, I'll come back and let you know what's going on, let you know where everything went or what I'm doing instead, or if there's another order that caught my eye. I do still have Uber on. I do still have Grubhub, as you saw in there. Grubhub's been sending me a lot of orders. I turned down a couple Uber orders. I didn't like the miles. I didn't like where they were going. I didn't like the timing of it, even though it was nice, a nice big $18 order. I felt like the timing of that was gonna be well over an hour by the time you got to where Uber wanted me to go. It was gonna just take too much time, and I could not do that. So, with that said, guys, I will be back either to wrap it up or maybe go over one more order if something comes through. If not, it'll probably be a wrap up. All right, guys. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for coming along. Hit that like button. Share this video with anybody who's new to the gig economy, anybody who's in the gig economy, anybody you think would be interested in the gig economy. Share this. Hit me up with some comments on what you think about tonight's ride along your own tips, tricks, and strategies, what you think about what we're doing here. And um, we're good from there, guys. All right, I will be talking to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you.
What's going on guys, Dad Dash Industries back here with the promised update and wrap up. So guys, um, as you probably saw, that was not my last order, not by a long shot. In fact, I'm here updating records right now. It's been a pretty crazy end of day, but um, we just got out of, we, we did cancel an Uber order that I think was gonna be a very bad value stake. Um, and I got out of it and just called it a night and said, you know what, let's just, let's just call it and go get my food for my wife and I and go the heck home because we had a great day today. All right. So, um, what happened after we talked last? So we, we were going to deliver, I believe a, we want wings order. I think we'd gotten a Taco Bell order or maybe we were going to deliver the Taco Bell order. I don't remember. I know we were back there. I think it was a We Want Wings order, and I was saying that's going to be the last order, and I'm going to go home. Well, then I'm on the phone with my wife, and I get a uh, three, 1329. No, I'm sorry. I wasn't on the phone with my wife. No, I got, uh, as soon as I got done with that, I got a 1329 Brothers Pizza order, which did take me out on the back roads and on the slick roads that I was trying to avoid, but I did it anyways. And that turned into a pretty good value order. Um, it was a $30, $30.67 an hour value, um, projected hourly. Um, and then when I got done with that, I called my wife and said, okay, I'm done, and I'm on the phone with her. And there, I'm riding by Ruby Tuesdays, and Grubhub sends me a $10.22 order to literally take it to a hotel right across the street. So I couldn't turn that down. I turned into Ruby Tuesdays, grabbed that order, snatched up, took it to a hotel. Then I'm you know, deciding on some dinner things and I hadn't turned off my Uber uh, app and I got shot an $18.08 Uber order and I ended up getting suckered into hitting accept and I got to the McDonald's and the McDonald's was like, yo, the order is not gonna be done for like 20 minutes. And I'm like, I'm not waiting 20 minutes on an $18 order, which I already was gonna have to go back down onto the country roads again, onto the icy roads. And I said, you know what? That's a sign that says, get out of it. Go do what you're supposed to be doing, what you told told your wife you were doing, which was to go in and get ready to go get food and stuff. Just quit playing around, Steve, with the app. Get out of it. You made 132.22 for the night. So we averaged uh, our average gross revenue per hour was $25.51. Our delivery gross revenue per hour for delivery time that we were out and about was $35.74. Um, and we. We were working, we worked 311 minutes and delivered for 222 of those minutes. Um, so that's a really, really good uh, ratio there, I think. Let's, we're we're going to find out what that number is here in a second. I ne really need to add that into my sheet, but I don't have it. Um, so give me a second here as I get through, continue to, there it is. All right, so 222 divided by 311 is a 71% work rate. So actually it is not a great work rate. It's below 80%, but we still managed to make money because of the size of the order. I think the size of the order, had, if you're gonna have a lower work rate, you gotta have a bigger uh, bigger orders. And that's what we did tonight because our average order size was $13.22. So anyways, guys, it was a good day. Good, good. Uh, you know, uh, we, we, we earned some money. Um, we did 10, 10 total deliveries. So like I said, it ended up being a very good day. So um, I'm going to sign off here. We're going to send it into the financials. I appreciate you guys riding along with me. If you enjoyed today's video, if you appreciate what I'm doing, please hit the subscribe button. Share this video as well for others. Help me grow this channel. And as well as uh, hit the like button too to let YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. If you don't think I'm doing a good job, hey, I'm okay and comfortable with you hitting the dislike button. YouTube still is happy that people are paying attention. Uh, and if you're a new subscriber, put subscribe in the notes and I will, or in the uh, comments, and I will mention you next, the next video I make. I'm going to make a list on that. So guys, thank you for riding along with me today. I will be talking to you soon. I may be out tomorrow. I, well, I'm going to be out tomorrow. I just don't know if I'll film or not. It's going to be a crazy day tomorrow because I've got to kind of balance that act between dad and dash and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks for watching. Let's go ahead and roll the financials.